Now I have another technical issues because I see I'm moving on my side. Hello. But you are free. Hello. You are free. We are live. We're now live. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. It's 8 p.m. It's 8 p.m. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah, we did well somehow. Indeed. So, introduce yourselves. Um, I'm Rob. I'm the drummer from Glastios. I'm Henry. I'm a vocalist and guitarist from Glastios as well. Oh my gosh, I also from Helestios and I bass oh, wow. player. I more important part in part of this band. <laughs> yeah, yeah, group. definitely. <laughs> Taz. Everybody call me Taz. My name is very hard to spell it, so everybody call me <laughs> Taz. <laughs> Hi, Taz. Taz. No. 
go on. Shemis, bro. Shemis, bro. No, he's wrong. Shemis, bro. It's very easy. Like Shemis, bro. Oh, yeah. You see, Kevin can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Yeah, I think, oh. I think Camille can probably do it. <laughs> yeah, Camille has no problems. No. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll go even shorter. I'll go for T. No mistakes there, you know. You can always <laughs> yeah. yeah. mathematically nice and simple. make a mistake. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Good thinking. Oh, God. So Hang on a second. You, uh, what have you guys been up to? Oh, so we've just recently uh, been off the back of playing Blackpool on Friday and oh, yeah. Hartlepool right. on Saturday. So, yeah, it was a, yeah, good. Oh, it was a blast. Uh, we got stuck on the M6, which was a bit of a nightmare, but Blackpool was fun to play and Hartlepool, oh my God, the spotlight venue. If you get a chance to play Fantastic. that, you need to play it. Yeah, Such yeah. a good venue. Oh, How far is it from, from us, Rob? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Blackpool's, Blackpool's four and a half hours from it from me. So um Yep. Yeah. So uh, it's here. probably about Hartley I'm not too sure where Hartley Paul is to be honest with you. It's, it's on the it's east coast side. up north. Oh okay. Well yeah. near yeah. Somewhere so right. if you go to Blackpool, it's up there, then you drive yeah. across and then slightly oh, up. Yeah. And then you've got, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. But it's a lovely view of the Lake District on the way oh. there. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was oh, but it took us nine and a half hours. It should have been four and a half for us as well, but it was yeah. nine and a half. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You go across, there, across, and then it's yeah, bank holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was awful. <laughs> so where, where are you guys based then? Well, I'm um, based. Yeah, Henry's in Gosport. I'm in Southampton, and Taz is in and Southampton. And yeah. Nice. And yeah, so that's quite right. Basing stock. I, I used to be basing stock based as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. A few years ago, and well, basically we're all Hampshire based. Yeah. yeah. Nice. To get within the region. <laughs> quite local then to each other, which is quite handy. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. Uh. You guys are Norwich, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. in Northampton. Three out of oh, four. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's not that's not too bad. It's just running M25 and up, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we go down as far as the M25 because um, we go across to Northampton most of the time. So yeah. we're normally oh, yeah, going um, yeah. A11. Um, yeah, yeah. Is it the A14? A14. Yeah, Northampton, Leicester, that way. That way, yes. yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it's not too bad. No, I've played the. Um, the Legends of Rock, Great Yarmouth, before. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I played that with a um, Gary Moore tribute band. Um, oh, fantastic. That was, that was a bit of a journey. <laughs> yeah. I'll bet. Yeah. Is it, well, it's quite far around the Yeah. Was it the one, yeah, where they hold the HRH festivals and stuff? Yeah, yeah I mm. think so. Yeah. Is it, um, yeah. Uh, it's a big holiday the park with the caravans and everything. And, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's just before you get into Yarmouth. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 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 So I, I come up with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> park or something, I don't know. <laughs> How long ago was that? Uh, 2014, I think. Oh, wow. Okay. Quite a while. Yeah. 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 Quite a while away. Yeah. Quite a while ago. Yeah, it's a long fun. drive, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't drive, luckily, but yeah. It's a bit so you were the drummer for that, I take it? I was. Not, yes. not the guitarist. Yeah. Well, you could have been. But... Yeah, you never know. <laughs> Drop out and get Yeah. Yeah, back in track. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but anyway, that fell by the wayside. So. Uh... For other <laughs> for other unmentionable reasons. Yeah, let's change the subject. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit like Gary Moore. But yeah, yeah, yeah I love Gary Moore. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. He's awesome. mm. Yeah, we just um, disbanded. Right. One of the first questions that we always like to ask is, um, what significant things do do you lot have in the pipeline? Do you have any any studio time booked? Have you like got new songs that you're looking forward to showing, or 
um, like any any gigs and such that are coming up? Um, gig wise, we have. Um, these, now, these are the new songs that we were excited to show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I mean, the, sec the second album, the Road to Ecstasy album, the second album has only just come out, so um, cool. it's um, no. it's pretty new. So. <laughs> Um, uh, and the song that so, we just yeah, heard, I mean, the song that we just heard is is fight. Is that yeah, that's from that album? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the second single. Yeah. yeah, very good. Nice. And yeah. we're so excited because we can wait to finally make some live performance. So, yeah. mm. <laughs> how long have you been going? As a band, um, how, when did you start? Twenty twenty. Twenty, yeah. Mm. That was oh, you're on album for lockdown. You're on album yeah. two already. Yeah. My yeah. lord. Well, Henry. How many songs per to... album? Um, Henry is eight. eight. Eight songs per each album. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it simple. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you do all your recording at home? Yeah, he sounds it. <laughs> That's the key, actually keeping everything simple. You can make that complicated later if you want, but yeah. on the beginning, yeah, yeah. keeping simple, mm. it's so easy. Well, I always I mean, had a problem with that. You, you know, some guys would compose, I don't know, 15 songs and put 12 of them or all 15 in the album. And, you know, there's no any, what's the word, policing, you know, just... You, just you know, a... a a refusal to like sort of like chasing like chasing the, the sunk cost fallacy of just like I wrote this song so it will go on the album and it's just refusing to let yeah, it go. Yeah. Be the, yeah. Mm. Oh like I mean you've got Devin Townsend that at some point he was releasing I think everything that was coming out like six months later another album six more again double album you know fishes elephants you name it you know Martians with the coffee you know it's there it's all there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I used, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be like basic and say what everybody else keeps saying that, you know, we, I think most people prefer him from Strapping Young Lad days, but uh, at least then it was, it was not six months an album, you know, no. it was you know, a bit more thought to it, like, I don't know, more polished or whatever. I know. mean, I loved uh, the, uh, Strapping Young Lad, but for me, like Ocean Machine. No, I, I, I do like the the sound that he achieves with reverb and the uh, vocals and and the harmonies. How he goes in the in Devin Townsend project, yes. Which I was is about to say, Devin Townsend mm -hmm. project is my favorite. Is my favorite Devin era. Mm. Oh, I me. loved him with Steve Vai, by the way, especially the interview yeah. part. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did he play with Zappa for a while as well? Uh, in his early days. He might, yeah, in in the early days, I think he was in front of Zappa for a while. Hmm. Did he? Yeah. Mm, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I may be yeah. totally wrong on making it up, but as far for in the back of my mind, I can I, I just remember he was he used to be in front of Zappa. Yeah, Steve Vai did. Yeah. Steve Vai did. Yeah. yeah Steve Vai. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Frank Zappa yeah. was so impressed impressed reading his uh, whatever thing he wrote for him. Yeah. He was like, okay, this guy is in like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And he was like 18, um, 19 back then or something like that. Very young, Steve White, you know. Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah very much. Like Evan Townsend, he was like 18, 19 when he went over and recorded that section of the Religion album. Yeah. Which was kind of, that, was all, uh, that was a staple on my Walkman for a long time. I was doing paper rounds. And, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Even though I think I, I had a mini disc when I was doing mine. <laughs> Yeah. This, is, this is where you can enter with discussion about you know all the good things are being created while while people are still young. Yeah. yeah. In in art in music actually it's not so because a lot of stuff a lot of good stuff still can be composed even you know in later ages as well. It's, yeah. It's yeah. An athlete sort of thing you know while you're still young that's your time, but in in like art in music and art in general you know. This is this is why it's great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Any it's any not age. Not eighteen anymore. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Well, your band. Like you know, in, in our band, for example, I find this music that we're doing now far more um, impressive 
compared to what I was doing in the 90s, for example. But in the 90s, I had more success because the social media thing didn't exist. So there's no real comparison. It was more about word of mouth and, yeah. you know, yeah, who yeah, you yeah. Get and stuff like that. Yeah. Whereas now yeah. it's kind of like you're, you're judged on everything, uh, visual, yeah. audio, yeah. Uh, who mixed it, for example, is really important now. It seems to be like a little click thing going on. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we're finding that, you know, investing in those people um, seems to be making a difference for us now. But, I mean, what do you do? Do you just record everything at home and release it um, as you record it at home, or do you go in a studio? Um, well, it's something between, I would say. Uh, Guitar-wise and vocal-wise, my home studio equipment is good enough to get a clean signals. So I record files and send them over to our sound engineer guy where he completely strips them off, you know, and, and rebuilds them back and it just does it. Uh, it's, it's really how they do it nowadays, you know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's what he does. And then, then the question is obviously drums. So for drums, you need drum studio. And that's, that's where you yeah. pick up uh, yep. at the, uh, you know, when you're ready for recordings. Prior that everything is computer thing, you know. Yeah, computer yeah. Drums. You you yeah. can't do the drums at home, unfortunately. No. <laughs> no. I've been here since I was like 16, 17. So for me, it's like uh, I don't know. It's 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 not that difficult or long to do it. And usually, what you do, you build a couple of, well, not couple, but you know, a few, um, uh, like samples or things, and then they just go in a loop because you know you've got for the verse or for the chorus or for some and then you've got to adjust or customize something like a bridges or whatever but yeah that's uh, develops as you go so yeah yeah so do you no. have a dedicated sound engineer uh, no not at the moment well okay. not like a sound guy for gigs but uh, the guy that, who's mixing and mastering albums i would say yeah it's uh, both albums uh, we've done is the same guy and he played okay. bass uh, on the first album as well. Oh, really? See the bass. Again. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, actually you got a lot of bass on this second <laughs> album as well. Of, by guy yeah, the track. Too. You know, just lay down the track quickly in one take and then get on with the mastering and mixing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or even half copy paste, copy paste. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, yeah that, like that. That, that's, a, that's a sin when it comes to recording. It's like, yeah, we've done it once. We'll just yeah. copy and paste it for the next, yeah, for the next yeah. chorus. And just... Put that bit there. Put that bit there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. yeah. <clears throat> no, it's got yeah. to be a track. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's, got, there's no, um, there's no uh, excuse for using electric drums and stuff. I mean, I've got a top spec electric kit, but um, yeah. you know, I, I'd much prefer just go into the studio and just two, three days, just put it all down mm. on the, you know, yeah. and then just yeah, that's, do I mean, it live. You've got, there's no, there's no um, substitute for a real, a real kit on a, on an album. I don't think, especially yeah, if you've you got don't get it on Alex. It. So yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure I mean, so, geeks now can make it sound just you won't be able to tell if it's real or not real. No, no. and there's a lot of really good. There's like some of the like uh, with, like Nam has Nam has been and gone, and like some of the new electric kits that have been shown off there, yeah. are absolutely wicked. But the big problem yeah, that yeah. they've got is their electric kits. Like if you got yeah. them stuck, if you've got them stuck yeah. in the same place, you can do all the troubleshooting and you don't have to move them. That's fine. They're really good, but as soon as you've got to pack everything down, you've got to take all the cables out. You've got to move stuff, and it just oh it, god, it's just it's you just know, we, more we, margin for error when you when you set it yeah. up the next time. Yeah. The funny thing phone. we did is we spent money on a on a on a studio going into the studio. This is way before James, <laughs> and we took a fucking digital drum in the studio <laughs> to record no. the drum. Seriously, we've done that at home and just like you know, setting the MIDI tracks. But no, we wasted three days doing the drums at 180 pound a day, recording these digital drums with uh, Thomas, who is no longer with us. Um, Makes it sound like he's dead. Like, what, 300, 400 pounds to That's do right. <laughs> on an electric kit. Yeah, Good yeah, Lord. and he never paid us for it either. His share. I mean. <laughs> that's, that's easy, easy there like, with the slander, Jim. Um, 
<laughs> what, what sound difference are you going to get on an electric kit? Whatever room it's in, there's like whatever room. Yeah, like you just pr- plug it in. The worst <laughs> idea ever. <laughs> but he insisted on it. So. You could get, you could get the plastic taps from quite high up though. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. You got you got nice, nice ambience of hitting the mesh heads and the the, the yeah. rubber symbols. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but the thing, you know, with stuff like with stuff like Easy Drummer now and Easy Drummer Two and yeah. Three and, yeah. and whatever it is, there's some amazing stuff out there. You know, a guy I follow on YouTube called Krim, who's um, yeah, oh yeah, uh, he plays with Flesh God Apocalypse. I think. Yes. Um, yeah, and he's updated one of the albums. Yeah, he's just bought uh, just bought um, uh, his own um, plugin. VST plugin now, and that's amazing. You can't tell the difference. I shut my eyes and I cannot tell the difference. Wow. Really, the cool including thing... uh, the 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 symbols as well. Yeah, mm. yeah, the symbols as well. Yeah, the cool because thing... most of most uh, most of the thing is like about the, the uh, acoustic drums is the ambience from the symbols, mm. you know. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and uh, the rest of the uh, the stuff could be replaced, but some by samples. But uh, yeah. the symbols are actually crucial for that sound, you know. Yeah, that's mm. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is a there's hardly any difference whatsoever between electric electric um, that, it's also the program dynamic. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How many how I can many, do that on mine. Signals, I can do that on mine, that's not a problem, you know, it's all about three sensitivity signals. Yeah, sensitivity, yeah. It's like fucking ten, okay, fine. Then it's like yeah. very close to real. Or can you do that like yeah. With yeah. a lot of electric drum kits now, you can. They're just really expensive. Yeah. I was yeah. going to say... Do they misfire as well? No, not anywhere fire? near as much as they used to. I mean, it depends how much you decide to spend. If you want to spend like two and a half grand, that would sure. be actually yeah, sure. really yeah. similar to the live drums, you know? Mm. Yeah. But I less, probably not. I think, I think yeah, what it is, one, you have to understand what the electric drums are really... I think in the beginning they were made as a home... Uh, alternative to real drums, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, as as an instrument for the purpose, it's amazing. But you cannot Practice go at home. with it. Come on, you need. Yeah. To You're not big old kit. Yeah, yeah. You need big kit behind you. That's why I bought what I yeah, did. basically during the gigs there was we had always problems with electric drums because they will be not heardable at all. And you can't just constantly going on the front of the stage and uh, collect the sound of the drums from PA, you know? Yeah, because... if you've got no monitors, you, yeah, you're screwed. Yeah. Yeah, most of the venue on that time hasn't got any monitors, or maybe they have just one, you know? But, you know, yeah. when you when you have one monitor and two 4x12 cups, it's no chance that you nope. will hear the no. drums through that, you know? No, so, the plastic yeah. tapping, you ain't going to hear it. Yeah. I was gonna say that there was a really cool thing that you could do with uh, with Easy Drummer Two now, um, and this is the really scary thing for a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of session players is you can mimic you can mimic push and pull, like you can mimic like drag rush, you can mimic all that sort of stuff. Um, like if you want to, if you want to tell if you want to tell the program that you really want to you want to drive a track forwards. That um, that you can like you you can rush some of the hi hats or 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 really like or slightly rush the snare drum just to well and truly drive that beat ahead of ahead of the actual song and I think that that and the, also the ability to to vary whether it drags or rushes slightly to put that bit of human side thing back in at random it's scary really <laughs> right so yeah. Yeah, so we move on to what yes. gigs you're playing then. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, gig wise, um, let me consult uh, the Oracle. <laughs> yeah, the Oracle, that is the calendar. Yeah, that's it. All um, hail the calendar. Right, the, uh, <laughs> our, first, our first show um, is the 9th of June, and that is at the Anvil in Bournemouth. Nice. Um, nice. And the 16th of June is the Griffon in Bristol. Great venue. Wow. Um, then the 1st of July is a hometown show for us at the Firehouse in the middle of Southampton. Nice, nice. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Then the 21st, we're in Southampton again at The Hobbit, um, supporting a band called Um 
then we're the 22nd, I believe, um, if that will work out okay, because one of our guys um, works um, weekends, mm. uh, every other weekend. So if the 22nd is free for him and we can we can make it work, then it'll be with you guys in Totten in Southampton. Nice. Um, and yeah. then the 29th, uh, that should be the 29th, but it's now been moved to the 22nd. So that'll be the 22nd. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we've got some more in August and one in September at Fuel. We've got one that's not confirmed yet in August. Okay. Um, and then at Fuel, 29th of September in Cardiff. So nice. uh, Sounds like you're busy. You've got some yeah. really good venues there. Yeah. 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 It's not not too bad. I mean, the Southampton ones are kind of hometown gigs for us anyway. Yeah. So yeah. Do you, are all Hampshire, do you... so um, you know, quite quite local. No, not much travelling, but Bristol and, and Cardiff and that are a bit further, obviously. So. Do you like yeah. to do you like to make your hometown gigs a bit scarce to provide a bit of rarity? So like get some excitement um, when people are there, or do you play? Yeah, well? it kind of kind of worked out against us really because we've got in one month we've got three slams. Mm. <laughs> so it's kind of worked, be, maybe it'll work uh, against us. Maybe it won't. Maybe people will come three times, but um, you know. Do you, do you yeah. normally try and avoid? You normally try and avoid yeah. playing too many like shows in the same place. Yeah, either side, either side of say we're playing okay. Southampton, then um, we won't do anywhere around Southampton for six weeks, and then after that gig, we won't do anywhere around Southampton for six weeks. That's how it should work out, anyway. Yeah, but, like to, um, we like to try and follow a similar thing. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think, I think, year, I think we've got the gigs in Norwich coming up, and um, for me, that's dead. I'm dead against that. I'd rather just play Norwich once a year. But we're yeah. doing this today. <laughs> then we got one on the sixth of June, haven't we? Is it sixth of June? No, uh, we, are we plan what? Sixth of August, sorry. Fourth, Fourth of August. Fourth of August. We're only playing two in Norwich, aren't we? Yeah, no, it's only those two. And then there's one in November at the um. Waterfront. Oh, that's fine. No, yeah. Is it still going? Oh yeah, yeah. confirmed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's still going. That's one of the biggest venues in Norwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me too. Yeah, that's a great venue. Though. Yeah. You gotta love the waterfront. Like downstairs yeah. at the waterfront can be banging when you get like a decent band in there. I remember yeah. watching Arc Enemy there and uh, yeah. Architects. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I, I probably mm. enjoyed them. Yeah, you blamed well, uh, Yeah, Sorry. hell yeah. With uh, Vinnie Paul, we went to that one, didn't we? There wasn't that many yeah. people there. That was a bit strange for me. It was like I was expecting. A room full of people to see Vinnie Paul, and there was. I mean, there was there was and, some people, you know. It's not not. Yeah, but Vinnie, yeah, was on the drums. Hmm. You could just walk up to the front. <laughs> oh, hell, Vinnie! Absolutely. There was light the torch before they be before they hell yeah, I think. Oh yeah, I like them. I like light the torch. Is that the um, Jesse? Jesse Leach, was it? No, no. No, it's Howard Jones. Howard yeah, Jones, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, Howard <laughs> Jones. But to get to know you well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're showing your age there. <laughs> yeah. So um, what are the some what are some of the venues like in Southampton then? Like what's the what's the what's the firehouse like and such? Um Firehouse is a good gig actually. Hi Dylan. You alright? Um yeah, Firehouse is a good gig, but um, it's got a bloody great pillar right in the middle of the stage. Oh, wow. Um, well, kind of, off, the floor, kind of yeah. offset to the stage, but it faces the bar. Um, yeah. And But yeah, you guys should get down there, definitely, because they have a metal night every now and again. They put two or yeah. three bands on, there's three or four quid on the door, and um, you get your expenses. So, you know, if, you, if you're looking to come down to Southampton, obviously, then um, that's one place to look at the Firehouse. Yeah. It, it's a great venue. I played this so so many times with covers bands. Yeah. Um, it's a shame your voice doesn't get picked up on the algorithm, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <It's> yeah. <straight laughs> <down. laughs> it's How many times now? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Southampton. Southampton yeah. is the best. Yeah, we're looking yeah. forward to playing down there, actually. Yeah, we are. Yeah, well, the yeah. Attic's a good venue. The Attic's a great little venue. I've not been in there, but I've seen the pictures of it, and it looks really good. We've um. I rehearsed in Pure, not um, Pure, sorry, in River um, Studios uh, quite okay. a bit. And the venue uh, is upstairs. Yeah. And it's got, it's the old dance studio. They've ripped all the mirrors out and everything. And um, they put a stage at the end. 
and oh, um, there's okay. a little stage downstairs as well for outdoor small outdoor gigs. That sounds pretty. Cool. If it's a dance studio, yeah, because yeah, they were planning to put us outdoors, but we sort of said no, didn't we? Yeah, we... yeah. Um, if, no, it's right. a, if it's a dance studio, does it still have the sprung floors and like and all that sort of stuff? Um, I'm not sure. I couldn't. I couldn't attest to that to be honest. But I know they put a bloody big stage at the top. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good little venue now. Do you have any? Um, yeah. Do you have any funny anecdotes from gigs recently? Like any disaster stories to tell? Um, how about you guys? Because this the first gig in June will be my first gig and Taz's first gig with the with the band. Yeah. 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 So, oh, oh, really? Ah, I was just right. Going through, through the. Uh, the venues about Southampton and the funny one was in Hobbit uh, actually stage wise I prefer it I think it's a better stage uh, it's just uh, there's a lot of um, just people would be going there to have a pint and maybe I don't know uh, we had a completely disastrous like I think the first two bands were late I oh, know oh. the first one and the headliners were late I'm not sure. I, I don't think we were headlining that night, but anyway, in the end, uh, in the end, it was just two bands, you know, the the second and us, and <laughs> so, well, we just played more, <laughs> longer, you know. I mean, we, we've not really had any disasters yet, actually. I'm yes. quite surprised that we haven't had any. It just comes with the territory usually. Touch wood. Touch wood. <laughs> wrong somewhere, like you know. Bro- from breaking down in vans over the years in, in my time in bands, that's not happened yet. Um, no, keeping myself not yet. on stage, that's not happened yet. Um, the really unbelievable <laughs> run you've been having, eh? <laughs> fortunately yeah, it's, it's, it's been pretty good. Fortunately for us, I reckon that all of our bad luck has happened in the rehearsal rooms. Uh, yeah, so um, but, yeah. we've we've kind of spent all our bad luck. <laughs> Uh, before we even get to before we even get to the stage, I suppose that's one way of looking at it. With the exception of with the exception of Blackpool and being stuck in a van for six and a half hours, that was <laughs> nine and a nine. half. Nine. What? Nine and a half. Well, yeah. only six and a half for you. Yeah. yeah, only six and a half for me. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was nine and a half for me because I was like, I'm the furthest away from everyone, like as far east as you can get and north. Yep. So, I'm yeah. I'm second in the row. <laughs> I mean, that's the key. That's the key. So everything you you go through, everything and anything possibly can go through uh, until the moment you walk on the stage, and then nothing can surprise you anymore. <laughs> You're told yeah. that it's so high. So whatever happens, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, it's like whatever will be, will be. Let's just go for it. Yep. I mean, I was a bit worried last Saturday because my voice suddenly. Your voice. Oh, oh God, God, that was. You do sound like you do game. sound a lot better, but like you were you were like an entire octave lower than than usual, just like Yeah, I thought I'd broken something. Yes, you were you were well and truly um, getting your getting your Pete Steel on with yeah. like, like you like had the Prime from Transformers. <laughs> Very good. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I took some vocal zone. Shameless plug. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and kind of this is not out. an ad we read. Managed to get through the gig, didn't we? So yeah, that was good. Yeah, I it mean, it, sure. it worked. Sure as hell worked. So which one? Yeah. Which one would you say crowd-wise you had best? Like I don't know, experience. Uh, Metal to the masses and yep. Black Prince. Where? Where is that? Northampton. Uh, so oh, okay. Metal to the masses was in Wellingborough, um, and that was uh, which is not, not fans. Yes, yeah, with their both both Northamptonshire, uh, Metal mm. to the Masses was a um, is a um, is a Black Battle Greece. of the Bands uh, competition yeah. for Bloodstock, um, and it was absolutely minuscule venue. It was, it was a place called the Old England, um, minuscule venue, but the crowd in there just just if immense. You look for... back at some of the recordings that were, were posted up online, I think it's like the third video. It's like I didn't realise the crowd was that big. It was quite big. It went Mind you, the, corner. the performance area is really sort of penned in, so we don't get a lot of lot of an opportunity to see out. Yeah. But yeah, that place that place was jumping, like just just really really energetic. 
But if you get a chance to play Northampton, you want to play the Black Prince. They have invested so much in their sound system, and like the whole PA is massive. Look this one up. There's a new stage as well. Uh, If you if you spend about fifty grand on the PA alone. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, that's good. That is a really good venue, good sound. The pub and is called me, the I, Black I, Prince, but the venue at the back. This lineup, we've had a bad gig. No, no we haven't. I don't think so. Yeah, and they've all been fairly consistent. Do you know yep. what I mean? Like, I mean, that's prior kind of... to these with this lineup, I would say that we've had some really disastrous gigs, like the one in Ipswich where Daniel <laughs> came along to see what we were like. It, it's, I mean, like the guitarist didn't have a guitar lead long enough, right? So yeah. he stood in the corner. <laughs> And, and um, he wanted to be near his equipment and just totally refused. We didn't. To um, we didn't bring. We didn't so bring fun. drum hardware because we were told that there was going to be a drum kit and and hardware provided. And also, oh yeah, it's upstairs. It'll be a hassle to carry it upstairs. We should have just taken it. We should have just taken it and walked it up. It would have been. Fine. I hadn't yeah. joined them at this point, but yeah, <laughs> no. needless to say, uh, after watching them, I was like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> You know, I couldn't hear anything. Uh, I just think everybody had a really bad moment. And, yeah. uh, and, and even I, I was watching people even walking off from us playing it. It was like, oh, my God, this is just absolutely so embarrassing. embarrassing. And, yeah. uh, and it turns out there was a guy from Emerging Rock Bands there who actually really liked us and wanted a CD. And he interviewed me last week and talked about it. So, yeah, that would be in the magazine. We need like, to go back to Ipswich to try and redeem ourselves. Time. Um, yeah, it might be a, a bit of a challenge, but we can see. Yeah, I've, I've saved but, that, you know, that Black Prince. I've saved it in my phone, so thanks for that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah the, the yeah. venue itself is called The Rocking Horse, or it used to be called The Rocking Horse, so you might get and some other ones for that. The are taking applicants right now, so go for it. Right. Get on Absolutely. Mania. Do it. Fantastic yeah, okay. venue. I'll mention yeah. your name if that's all right. Yep. Uh, yeah. Please do. Also, another venue you that's... Can use uh, that as <laughs> Another venue that's good that way, if you want to try and book for sort of Northamptonshire, Buckinghamshire, that sort of way, um, see if you can get the Crawford Arms. That That's also a really good venue. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we tried that in another band that I was in before. Um, can't remember. Is it a bass player from a metal band? Death metal band, his bass player runs it. I can't. It might have been then, but I don't know whether it is now. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'll try that one as well. What would you say is... All, um, all on the list of um, venues that we've got. But... Yeah. Like, what sort um, of... What other, what other venues do, do, do you guys all like? Because, I mean, I understand that it's your... Like, for the two of you, it's going to be your first show on the 9th of June, but, like, uh, previous bands and such. Do you have any after venues the long that you break. remember oh. fondly? Yeah. Or... <laughs> yeah. How long a break? Milk King. Yeah, Milk King. Yes, yeah. Nine. With playing on the bass is 15 years break. Oh, yes. Ooh, okay. That's so, a long time. I am very, very excited. I can't wait. Nice. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so I thought far. I had a long break. I, I had six years before I joined these. So. Hmm. But yeah, I'm a bassist as well. So. Oh, yeah, and the, the bassist, uh, bassist for the, the third band on Saturday was playing his first show, and they went down really well. Just, yeah, he did really well. Yeah. A wicked performance. So, guys, yeah. what guy... Sorry. What, 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 sorry. Uh, so, what equipment are you guys using? So, Henry, start, please, maybe. Uh, I've got JVM head, uh, 410... Uh, I usually carry that one with me. Um, That's Marshall, is it? Yeah, 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 Marshall, yeah, yeah. Um, if, if I need cab, I take cab as well, 1960 as well. Um, oh. I've got 1960 Marshall. vintage version, so... <laughs> cool. Oh. Um, what actual yeah. vintage version? Because or... you can well, buy the vintage. Version, yeah, no, but is it an actual yeah, old no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, vintage? Oh, yeah, show us. Oh, yeah, oh, wow, Ooh, like nice. Oh, what just happened? 
That, that's Ooh. very tidy. That can't be a 1960s. Yeah, it's, it's very. <laughs> it's, it's just the vintage model, sort of. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so it's a new one, but vintage model. Okay, we, we wondered if it was like it, an it, old amp. Like yeah, yeah. No, the difference between normal 1960 and the vintage was the speakers, right? The Celeste, um, yeah. the, the speakers. Yeah. So it was purchased for the speakers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. Nice. What guitar? Um, um, well, I've got ESP Limited with the uh, EMG active ones, pickups. Uh, I've got another one that I don't actually play that much, uh, but it's kind of a self-built uh, copy of Gibson, the custom thing. But it's got also EMGs inside, and the bridge is completely different. Everything is everything apart from the wood is is changed, you know. So basically, everything apart from the base, the main body. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I have to say, I, I do prefer this um, ESP one, and um, uh, yeah. Is that six string? Sorry. Six string. Six string. Or? Yeah, I, I don't do seven or eight. I don't yeah. like, I don't see, the, I mean, I do see the benefit, but the style that uh, kind of we are so, doing is not much of the stuff where, yeah, I know you can always use, yeah, seven strings is cool. I, I do agree with that, but it's just, I'm, I'm a simple person. I'm from the countryside, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, same. <laughs> Keep <it simple. laughs> Yeah, just like the kiss, else, you know. The kiss <laughs> saying, keep it simple, keep stupid. It, keep it crap. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, if that suits you, that's fine, you know. Yeah, I've got JS-1000, you know, the, um, Joe Cetriani even has the 1000 version, the blue burnt oh, no. pearl. It's beautiful guitar. It, the neck is so fucking ergonomic, excuse my French. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. It's, it's, for me, I do prefer the hard bridge over the tremolo, and for that reason, I'm not even playing that guitar almost never. <laughs> oh, I know it's a weird one. I know it's a weird one. It's just the style of how I play. Um, it's it's a lot of a lot of uh, right, uh, right arm wanking involved over the thing, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about the lovely hard Yeah. Nice. Oh well, hang on. <laughs> I was gonna go and get it oh, now. Huh? Get it. Yeah, it's, guitar. Yeah. it's gonna be guitar off. <laughs> guitar yeah. off, yeah. Yeah. I see ESP. Nice. Yeah. The looks. Excellent. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, obviously EMGs inside. It's a nice uh, thing. Do you know what I don't like about all these guitars? This sign, what it says. Do you know what it says? No. The chemicals inside may um, uh, do stuff about your fertility. Oh, <laughs> yeah, your fertility, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do they put in there? Well, uh, just battery acid. I'm a happy <laughs> one daughter, father, so I, I, I don't know if I care about it too much, you know. Are they active pickups? Uh, EMG. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, so they're like magnets, aren't they? So you've got like magnets near your crotch. Well, you've got coils in there, and the <laughs> yeah. fields, yes, and the batteries as well. The lithium, I think. The yeah, batteries are radioactive. I mean, Even nine volt batteries. I was about to say, I don't think, I don't think the, I don't think the lithium, like, I don't think the lithium would do much if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's enclosed. Like, it's fairly, fairly, uh, fairly safe. But like, I still wouldn't want a battery near my crotch. Just because, Why not, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 when yeah. I play my bass, like I've got a little nine volt there. Well, no, no, do you have, Wait, do you, you have a lithium you have, battery? Do you have a lithium you have battery Debbie. there? <laughs> no, not lithium, it's yeah, just Debra. Duracell. <laughs> Debra. Yeah, no, lithium batteries, when they go, when they go. Oh, dog. What's that, a spring of spaniel? Can't quite hear. Uh, it's only because he got beer on the yeah. table. You see, straight away goes for beer. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and here, here, here's the dog. <laughs> oh. oh no! Hey. Oh, slow, mate. That's no. all. This we're in public. <laughs> Amazing. 
All right, darling. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> but yeah, um, um, yeah, drum wise, um, yeah. I've got a um, Tama kit. I've got a double bass Tama kit, but I only use one most of the time. Yep. Um, and double rack, double Gibraltar rack, um, all Gibraltar hardware, paste piece, PST eight symbols, whole range of those. You um, immediately, you immediately lose points for pronunciation. Yeah. <laughs> pronunciation. Yes. <laughs> of, of of pasty. Paste. <laughs> no. <laughs> I remember going to I remember going to the to their booth in the in the London drum show in like 2012, and they were very adamant about it being pasty. They told me off for it. I'm just like, okay, okay, I'm gonna buy your stuff. Please don't hurt me. Then. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. How would you call them? I've always uh, called them pasty. Paste it's uh, pasty. Pasty. Yeah. Pasty. Mm -hmm. Has it got a little, little umlaut or whatever they call it, circumflex or something? No, oh, that's God. the confusing part. Oh. That's the thing that that's oh. the thing about diacritics. You can actually specify things like tomato, tomato if you put an accent above yeah, it, yeah. but we yeah. don't, and I don't know why we don't do that in English. No, very strange. No, in all language, yeah. they thought keep it simple, but they should not. No, oh. no. Yeah, I've got um, yeah, pearl pedals, Estonia, right? pedals, and. All that sort of stuff. And I use a um, a Roland, uh, one of the triggers thing. Um, okay. Tom one or Tom two or T two or whatever they call it. Oh, and you, what do you what do you use that for? Do you just to just, just a bass drum trigger. I've only yeah, recently I've only recently well, finished a DIY project with my bass drum where. Um, I've mounted a microphone inside off of uh, off of uh, yeah, one of the lugs. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I got a I got a little little mounting post. I've got a shot mount, and I've got a um, a Shure PGA fifty two. Um, yeah. Sat in there about about four or five centimeters away from the batter head, and okay. um, we're hoping that it sounds yeah. pretty good. Well, so, yeah, yeah right. everyone always talks about what gear they buy, but the vocalist never gets to say anything about anything that they buy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have? What do you have? A fancy microphone that you hold in front of your face. What do you do with the microphone? Just like yeah. hold it like that. <laughs> yeah, it's not, talking through yeah. it. <laughs> not one of those exciting things, is it? Really, like no one wants to talk about the microphones they use and all. I that. mean, you put yeah. fancy. You put the you put fancy effects on it. You got your effects pedal. You have got that there weird. You you yeah, got that yeah. weird um, battery pack receiver transmitter thing that looks like a stick of dynamite that you put on the bottom of yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of other things that you could talk about regarding vocals no, and equipment you yeah. use. Anyhow, but, Taz. But yeah, the good thing is I don't have to carry much in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that means you've got to carry the rest of our stuff. Yeah, well, well he doesn't have to. Do, but does. I mean, bloody well does. Anyhow, Taz, what about yourself for equipment? What do you like base wise? What do you do? Yeah. What do you use? This is what I'm interested in. Finally, finally, because I out of the business with 15 years, and there's be yeah. parts to complete something, I'd be very, very happy. But finally, finally, I achieve my target. You know, it's so many plenty stuff outside on the market so many things mm -hmm. and i try to you know just think about even i don't be you know in music shop trying some gears i try to think what maybe few stuff on the internet yeah that are playing and finally i have my perfect set for me <laughs> so which is, <laughs> yeah. which is Come on. eventually <laughs> i have had dark glass alpha omega 500 oh. i don't need to you know overpower myself 500 is enough enough yeah. power to, to handle for instead i have cap pua headliner i have uh, 410 so four tens now and i want to buy yeah. instead to change the uh ohms on there like from eight to four to another cap like just two tens yeah. on the top yeah, yeah. okay and and very helpful because that is like surprise for me. Helpful because I never use the multi effect and stuff like that. But I start yeah. using <laughs> Doom B6. So it's so fucking awesome. So that is my like lineup and setup with my base gear. And I'm very happy. One thing 
It's too much buttons, too much everything is very hard to set up nice buttons. <laughs> but finally, I'm sure Camille can it, relax. <laughs> driving us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Camille says the same. Too yeah, but buttons. after <laughs> one week, I finally achieved my target, the perfect sound for me. Nice. And I play it on, on the Ibanez KHAB 1005 multi-scale. Oh my god. Oh, too much. No, too much name. <laughs> we yeah. we see how there be you know working on the concert on the gigs because in my house in my workroom when I'm sitting here, it's so small with that kind of power gear. Mm. My neighbors love me because I practice <laughs> yeah. every day. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't see, practice be... with my camp. <laughs> you can always use headphones, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, or what? It's not pleasure to play. But why? <laughs> but why? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you can hear it properly out of like four, <laughs> ten inch speakers, it's exactly. just a wall of sound. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. You I love could it. use headphones. <laughs> you could use but headphones. Like you, can it. you won't feel it. And you've got to feel the bass. Absolutely, but... absolutely not. I'm, I'm, I'm an advocate of feeling the bass. <laughs> same as like, exactly. same as like with the kick drum. Yeah. It's like. I don't care if I can hear it audibly. I just want to be able to like hear that, feel that like sort of like that thump. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But my neighbors are very nice. I was going like to say, a very cool neighbor. Sound guy that I used to use a lot was um, a guy called Nathan Carter. And uh, he's like um, the sound person that in demand around here. And okay. uh, he knows my kit in and out, inside and out, and he knows how to get the right click without without um, trigger. Yep. Uh, it sounds yep. like it's got a trigger on it, and it's not. It's not triggered. It's just the perfect click, perfect amount of bass, perfect about, amount of middle, perfect amount of top. And uh, he's just a guru, absolute guru. Nice. But I love nice. the click. I like to feel it as well. I like to feel mm, the yeah. bass as well. <clears throat> When are you guys building the studio? Oh, we're working <laughs> on it. Um, materials are yeah. proven difficult to get at the minute, as everywhere. Okay. Like, because I, I work in uh, for a builders merchant, and yeah, yeah. yeah, just getting in some stock is a bit of a nightmare because we're now building up to like summertime. Yeah. We're now out of the EU. Getting stocks of stuff takes a lot longer. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I think the whole country's feeling it at the minute. But yeah. It's, 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 yeah. Trying to get materials is proven difficult, but once yeah, we get right. materials, we're cracking on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we start next stage of building. Mm. Very nice. Yeah, can't wait to get that. Last, last time I um, last time I spoke to you, um, uh, you were in the middle of planning to build the studio, I think. Yeah, you, I, I remember you saying because I, I know we were talking about um, records and, and recording and stuff like that, and uh, and I know you say you were going to build a studio, so I just wondered how how it was going. That's all. There's a yeah, lot they're... of talking about where yeah. we're going to be. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, but yeah, it's, I think we're waiting at the moment for a, a quote for some things, but I don't know if you know what the UK is like with regards to getting quotes back at the moment. Is and materials possible. in general. Yeah, yeah. materials. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. Struggling to, yep. to get all the yeah, like you say, materials together. So, yeah. It's because we're not in the EU anymore. Supply chains are a lot more constrained. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's it. And uh, you know, like today, for example, um, I work for a global company, and they have Dell computers globally, but um, I need to get some 27-inch monitors. But my head office, based in France, have refused to get Dell 27 inch monitors because they're a hundred pounds more in the UK than anywhere else across the globe, according to the quotation. So the government, our government is telling the suppliers from wherever globally to add an extra percentage on top. Right. It, yeah. and, and, and obviously well, Boris is trying, or whoever, uh, Rishi's trying to sort out this whole Dishy, Rishi right now because their negotiations weren't even negotiated so therefore 
every other business around the world has gone right well because you haven't negotiated you haven't, you haven't got a deal we don't know what the hell we're going to be paying go. until it gets through the door so the price do. and that's gone. why we're paying 80 pence for a tin of beans where everybody else is still paying 40 pence 40 pence yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. they've messed it up royally but, yeah. yeah anyway politics yeah yeah, yeah. Really that's yeah, let's, let's let's well and truly move on from politics because I could yeah. go for hours. <laughs> yes, we're on yeah, it's in the pipeline. It is in the pipeline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's good to hear. Yeah. The sooner we get it done, the better. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. it means that we can. We need we a can... studio as well. So, uh, Henrys. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can come use ours once we're sorted. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Once we've done, it's like an open invitation for the bands that we've met and played with, and whoever wants awesome. to come in that we know can yeah, just yeah. come the weekend there once we get it done. Well, we're hoping yeah, for it to be. You might need some help. Oh, you know. We're hoping for yeah, it to either be a. Help, have a camp out. Yeah. <laughs> hoping it for it to yeah. be either a rehearsal studio or just a, a, a decent stop off for bands who have made a made a trip down to Norwich and don't want to don't want to drive of any of a, of a, of a night time. Because mm. we are planning for there to be accommodation yeah. in there as well. It's going to be quite yeah. helpful for me for, for rehearsals if we wanted to do a full weekend. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. That sounds mm. like it's going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it should be. Yeah. So what's next in the pipeline for you guys, gig wise? Uh, we've Just got one. Taking over gigs. Uh, we've we've got we've got uh, one on Friday. Yep, it's oh, uh, the big one that we've been we've been leading up to for quite a while. We've been uh, organising it ourselves. Well, mostly Dan. Have to have to give credit Absolutely there. All of it, Dan. All of it has been there. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from the poster, which Jim helped me with, I'm I'm yeah. I'm just I'm just taking credit as we because Royal We Hedra, you know, like, yeah, no, yeah, it's, yeah. All it's all there. It's all well, it's kind of a, it's under Beast Anglia, but um, Hedra are playing it, so um, it's Jim's Beast Anglia, um, which are, I'm helping out with the promotion. on. we're gonna see if we can reignite that and put some bands on. So, if you did want to play Norwich, like definitely, if this goes well, um, we plan to do more. We'll get you down on one of the Beast Anglias. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, that is yeah. lovely. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's my first ever time actually far in to try and to organize a gig and like mm. um, plan it. So it could go horribly wrong, but you only learn one way. So yeah. we'll give it a go. It is part of my strategy to get every single member to understand how to book gigs, how to arrange tours, how to like sort out the whole business side of things. Yeah. And then, like, you know, eventually I will have to do very little compared to what I used to do. Yeah. Um, or maybe yeah. less. I'm very well with that so far this That's year. That's the plan at least, mm -hmm. is it? Yeah. It's the yeah, plan. Yeah. It is. You know, the plan, yeah. yeah. I, I think, you know, until like the individual band members realizes how much one person takes control of it all, they're never going to realize how much they need to appreciate what they're actually doing. And yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why I've separated it out because yeah, we had, right. we've had some like, 28 members or something nearly now. Quite a few. <laughs> 20, yeah. 25. 25 members. Right. So did I have, 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 <laughs> have the magical calendar so I can go through yeah. some of the other dates. So we've got the Friday, which is in Norwich. Um, then we've got uh, our Metal to the Masses semi-final, which is in Northampton. So, yeah, we managed to progress through, which is... Yep. We, yeah, were, we were quite shocked, to be fair. But, yeah, and then... 15th of July is Monsters of Metal, which oh, yeah. is at the Hunter Club in uh, yeah. Bury St. Edmunds. Um, the potential gig on the 22nd with you guys, so hopefully yeah. you, you can do it. Um, hopefully so. It'd be wicked to share the stage awesome. with you. Then on the 4th of August, we're playing Norwich again at the B2, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually a wicked little venue. And if we progress through to the final, like and all the way to Bloodstock, which is an if, yeah. um, we could be playing like either the 10th, 11th, or 12th of um, August. But that's a maybe. And yeah. yeah, that's sort of like our foreseeable future. We've got a few more lined up for the rest of the year, but we're we're yeah. quite busy lads and we're getting around. Yeah. Week tour from the twentieth. Or not? Week tour from the twentieth. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, our week tour from the twentieth, which I'm. Uh, oh, I should have <laughs> kept that one. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, my, 
we're trying to organise a tour, which um, hopefully will go well. Um, I'm taking over quite a lot of the ownership of organising it with uh, the promoters because we've had some situations come up which we're dealing with um, where we've got help. Help has kind of fallen through a bit, so we're taking on more of it. And because I got involved and sort of organised it, I'm yeah. taking a bit yeah. of the ownership of it back. Yeah. If that makes sense, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be a challenge. I think that's that's the the thing for bands. If you haven't got a, if you haven't got one person in the band or a, a booking agent, then you know it's difficult. Oh hi, we're a band. Can we have a gig, please? <laughs> oh, hang on, I'll send you an email back. Can you never get an email back. And, you know what we're supposed to do? It's it's really difficult for bands. Now we've yeah, been asked is. recently yeah. if we want to go to Ireland. But um, yeah. no, it's not it's not as easy as saying yes, yeah, yeah. We'll go over and play two or three times in Ireland. Yeah, and pay well, however then much you've it's got. Cost then yeah, you've got the cost yeah, of exactly, yeah. you've got the it's cost not, of the ferry you, over and all the fuel um, whilst you're there and yeah, exactly. Yeah, and her accommodation and blah blah blah. You know, it's, yeah, it's got to be viable. As you know, I mean, Henry and Taz are from Poland and Latvia respectively. So um, mm -hmm. uh, and um, Stelios is from Greece. You know, we'd love to go to Poland. We'd love to go to Germany, Amsterdam, Belgium, France, Germany. You know, um, it's, but it's not as easy as it sounds. You know, nope. no, no, it's, it's not, not as easy as it sounds. No. I mean, I, I know the guys from um, from uh, 100 percent Pantera, and they they go to Ireland quite a lot, and um, and they seem to they seem to pull hundreds of people at their gigs and everything. So maybe I need to speak to Tim or something, and then I, I know them. Too. I know the, the guitarist. What's his name? Oh. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't know. I just know Tim. I think. Uh, yeah. I, I speak to him. I speak to him on Facebook anyway. So he's not the singer. Friend. Um, I would absolutely recommend. Is, yeah. I would absolutely he recommend is. going to Ireland. But uh, I have some horror stories from a previous band that I'm not going right. to recall here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably does. How easy was it for you to go? Oh, the actual track, the actual travel, and the shows were fine. It was just. Uh, mm things within the band that uh, that uh, turned it into a bit of a bit of a shit show but right, um okay. well the the actual the actual travel itself was the actual travel itself was fine make sure you book a bed for the ferry yeah, because yeah. it's yeah. just it's just horrible otherwise and did it cost you money I went there, the, the, the gearbox on our van went but apart from that yeah. um it was just like northern ireland was a little bit rough uh down south was very mm. nice yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Polar opposite. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I, mean, I mean, we've been we've been picked up by Angels PR worldwide music management and stuff like that, and oh, um, nice. and they uh, they're doing a lot for us, but they they only seem to be working in Greece because they're from Athens. Okay. <laughs> you know, so all the interviews we get and all the all the radio play and all the you know radio plays a bit more. Um, spread out across Europe yeah. but you know the magazine interviews and the um and the uh, uh, the reviews of the new album and stuff like that and the um the reviews of the single that came out the, uh, the fight that you played already um you know that they all seem to come from Greece hmm. around in and around Greece <laughs> and there was the odd one there's one from Ireland and there's one from Manchester and there's one from North uh, um there's one from Scotland and you know okay. and but most of the most of them were centered around Greece hmm. and I thought well you know are you you say you've got all these worldwide contacts and things like that why aren't you doing any because we've got a bit of a following in south america and canada and a few in australia as well but you know but you're not doing anything around that it's around the world yeah you know? so it all, all kind of be centered on greece you know and we kind of like you know to get some exposure in germany and france and belgium and holland and and stuff like that so we can actually build a following to go over there eventually next yeah. year Germany is massive um, as well for yeah, yeah, like totally the metal music. Heavy metal, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, definitely. We'd like, you know, we'd love to go over there. But again, like I said, it's not as easy as it sounds. No, especially not now we're out of the EU. Yeah, Even more difficult. Travel as well. We've got yeah, obviously. Yeah. Stuff, haven't you now? So mm. yeah, you've got to mm. check everything out and check it all back in. Yeah, yeah. And we've got to have you've got to have uh, oh, have yeah, work yeah, visas and it's all just, of that sort of nonsense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, for some of us. <laughs> yeah, it's not, yeah. It's, it's not as simple as that. Because we're not in the EU. We're any of us, like, mm. we have to fill out everything now. It's a bloody nightmare. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
so yeah. braver, you know. Wow. And it's only to to switch on more uh, money circulating yeah. little add-ons. You know, it's like a little virus. You you surfing through a website, and they just added your little software that's just. Yeah, it's like you will pay stuff. more. Yeah, you'll yeah. pay more. You'll lose more time. Yeah. And, and plus, we're gonna fuck you in the head a little bit more. <laughs> Again, it's, I learned it from my ex. I'm sorry. She was nasty, I was gonna say, <laughs> we don't want to know what else you learned. It's about to say we 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 don't deal with slander on this show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, like some some of our like you know most visited people come from Germany, Russia, Ireland, Russia, France, <laughs> and Sweden. Yeah, but we'll never mm. we'll never probably play those places because of I would like to. <laughs> I would love to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd love absolutely. To, you know? we, like I said, we've got we, yeah we've sold we sold records in uh, records we sold albums in that you know South America and Australia and mm. and. Um, you know Canada and stuff like that, but the chances of us going to Australia, and the chances of us going to South America in the near future are a, yeah. little, a little bit, you know, the cost are a bit out there. Yeah, yeah. The most foreseeable future that won't happen. No. No. It's, it's well, basically you know, unless everybody in the band wants a holiday and they're and then they're thinking, but yeah, let's all go to the same place. I need a holiday. Uh, let's all get together and go to you know <laughs> somewhere yeah. warm. Because I mean, it's, it's, it's basically um, everything. It's basically range, impossible you know, without like label support. Five now. grand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it would be bad. And, and theoretically, technically, you know, Germany and Holland and Belgium and France are easy. You know, mm. uh, they're easy to mm. go. They're, they're easy to go to. It's just a range of gig in one of each in, in each town or each city, and then come home. You know that yeah. is so easy to do. It is on paper. It's a piece of piece of cake. Yeah. But, you know, but along with visas and all that sort of stuff, like you said, now we're not in the EU anymore. It's so, a lot of it. so sorry, yeah. the British passport holder friends members of this conversation what do you have to do now to go through uh, just say if you wanted to go to calais france <laughs> uh we need to get yeah, a visa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah visa yeah. is the one the second thing is you have to register your all equipment you know yes that's yeah. if you, if you're going cool, from yeah. uk if you're going the, as a band you've got to do it all as you've got to do it all as business got to do it all as for work yeah not, yeah not just not, not just your equipment but all your merchandise as yeah. well yes has to be accounted for itemized and, and listed and coming, in, coming yeah. back again it has to be exactly right and you get searched and held so it's up like you have to register a company basically we already yeah. have yeah but yeah. yes we have. it's called a car yeah yeah, yeah. So, i no, thought it was called a... as old as time that is the car night, isn't it yeah, yeah, and at this point, it's just not time worth I it. even went to France, it was just a ball like to prove that you're. Damn it, Jim, you took yeah. my joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because when you come back into England, it's um, mm. someone from France or someone like that and say, Can I see your passport, please? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's funny because it's working just for the, when you're just leaving uh, UK and going to uh, European Union. It doesn't working the same way when you're coming back you know no, no that's right for me i'm crossing uh, with the ferry just the same as before no changes at all mm. i show my passport latvian passport simple again and just go and come that's it we have to go with uh what is it, UK sticker on our foreheads now? <laughs> man, this is just so bad what they did. It's uh, One thing is you, you found another niche where to suck money out from the budget or through yeah. the budget. But this is just... It's, it, uh, yeah, you can do. Anyway, let's wrap this up with your social media links and where people can find you. If they want to listen to your music, absolutely. Um, do you want to say that, Henry? Yeah, you say that. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <laughs> we're on, uh, <laughs> okay. We're on. Uh, we're on Facebook, obviously. Uh, Instagram. Um, Instagram is Helios uh, Hestios official. 
Um, our Facebook is Lestios, and we have on our Facebook page we have a link tree, uh, app, uh, an app thing, link tree app thing, uh, link on our page. You just click on that, and um, you got everything on there. You got YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, yep. Facebook, everything. New video where you can buy the album, whatever. So, and we, um, if you want to buy the album, obviously, then uh, that's on Bandcamp. So that's Hellestios.bandcamp.com. Fantastic. Cool. Nice. Again, in cool. the link tree as well. It's in the. Yeah. It's all in the link tree. It's all there. It's all in the link tree. Go to Facebook. Sorry, God. I said, go to Facebook. Go, go to, to Facebook, Facebook. Go to the yes. link tree, and you'll find everything. Yeah, go to the Oracle, which is Facebook, apparently. Yeah. All it hail Facebook. Yeah. 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 Well, get, this I mean, is good the luck way. With your gig, and you know, we hope to see you on the twenty second. Is it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty yeah. second. Yeah, no, there'll be another Hampton. time, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, uh, uh, Stelios was off on the 29th. Um, yeah, but now it's been changed to the twenty second. Hopefully, it's just Hopefully as easy as in changing the date over. Yeah, yeah, so, fingers um, crossed. Yeah, obviously, I'll I'll let you know before the weekend. Um, yeah, all right, definitely. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, hopefully we can do it. Yeah, because I think the, yeah. the rest three of us, I think we're pretty positive as well. Yeah. You give me a right. date and I'm there. I think it yeah. will be a sec. Um, a second day gig, yeah, because we play a uh, day before somewhere, Rob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're in the Hobbit before, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. but yeah. I think that's all right. Just yeah. have a good weekend, you know. Yeah, that should be right. Busy weekend. Busy, busy, busy. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. All right yeah, then. Yeah. It'll be okay. Well, well thanks for thank, thank you very much for coming on the show. And um, some great yeah, good to meet you guys as well. Yeah. And the yeah, same to all of you. It's been a pleasure. And I hope so. We'll meet together live on the stage in that day. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all the best, guys. Thanks for having us. All the best. Thanks for Thank coming. You. Thank you. All right, Have then. a good one. Have a good one. Bye. Yeah. Nice one. Bye. 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 Bye.